What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to view or access your Sunbird tokens. If you had opportunity to claim your Flare tokens, I think it was started back from uh, December 12, 2020, and you could claim I think until like June 12, 2021. And if you didn't do it in that period of time, then it's too late now. So for example, let's say you use my Ether wallet to claim your tokens and you set everything up and you've been waiting for flare tokens well flare tokens not going to be airdrop yet they're still delaying but what they did they created canary network sunbird tokens and they already did airdrop like six days ago or seven days ago so first thing we need to do we need to see if we have sunbird tokens in our wallet so first open this website and i'll put link in the description below and then in here copy your ethereum address wallet and just paste it here and then press on search and now you're going to see transactions so six days ago they were airdropping some bird tokens and this wallet received 77 tokens so if you put your address here you're going to see your balance here so if you will see your balance here, that's mean you did everything the way you're supposed to and you got Sunbird tokens and you'll be getting Flare tokens as well once they're actually going to do the airdrop. So now since we've verified that we received Sunbird tokens, next thing we need to do, we need to access them either to transfer to another wallet or maybe to an exchange at this time i don't even know which exchange is actually supporting sunbird but i'm sure there will be plenty of them where you can exchange trade or sell or do something with them so to access your tokens here's what we need to do we need to download metamask wallet or extension on your computer so go to metamask.io and then press on download and right here by default it's going to choose which browser you're using if you're on chrome ios or android or maybe other ones then you just press on install metamask for chrome and if you're using firefox or edge or something they're gonna have their own extensions press on it and then press on add chrome and then add extension okay once extension is added we need to press on get started and if you already have metamask installed you can skip this step but if you don't press on create a wallet and you can also import your wallet here we're just going to press on create a wallet right here you can press no thanks or i agree if you would like to help metamask i'm just going to press no thanks for right now and then we'll have to create a password for our metamask and then put a check mark next to i have read and agree to terms and conditions of use and then press on create and then it's going to tell you how to secure our wallet then press next and then right here we need to back up our secret phrase i'm gonna reveal this phrase because this wallet is just for video tutorial only and i'm not actually going to be using this wallet i'm gonna get rid of it right after the video so you can try to access it with my secret key but there's not nothing gonna be on it so this is my secret key i would just recommend either copying it save it somewhere and then press on next and then in here we'll have to confirm our secret key and then confirm and then all done and you can scan this QR code and I think it's gonna let you install the same wallet on your phone if you would like to do that and that's it MetaMask is set up so the next thing we need to do in our MetaMask we need to press on Ethereum mainnet and right here we need to press on custom RPC then this window is gonna appear or if you press on this little like a puzzle you'll have your MetaMask here you press on it here and then you'll have this little window most likely you'll be working with this little window we just close this same thing ethereum mainnet and then custom rpc and right here we need to put network name so network name is going to be songbird and then new rpc url you'll have to put this link and i'll leave all links in the description below and then for chain id we need to type 19 and then cryptocurrency symbol will just put sgb and then block explorer will have to type this url address and then press on save 
so now we have our sunburg network added to our list so we can go back here and right here just change it to sunburg and as you can see at this moment we have zero tokens it's just because we have new address so now to actually view or pull up or access our token the one that we claimed earlier this year or last year here's what we need to do we need to copy private key from that same ethereum address the one we claim to and we need to add that account in here then we need to press on this little icon here on the top right corner and then we need to press on import account and in here we need to choose private key or json's file depends which one you have and then just paste your string here and then press on import and that's it our address is added and if you have tokens in here your account balance is going to change so in my case for this video i just used i created a random new address so that way you can see step by step how to create metamask and add your existing my ether wallet so in my case at this account i don't have anything but if i'm going to bring up my actual metamask wallet here's what you're going to see this is my actual wallet and in this wallet i have few tokens that was airdropped by flare network and from here you can press on send if you would like to send to exchange or maybe to another wallet and this is pretty much it all the links that i've used in this video i'm gonna leave in the description below and all the websites strings and all the directions and all the the names of the network that i've used to add for example sunberg network i'm gonna live in the description below and if this video is helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching